book readings with Miss Bernard. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another book readings with Miss Bernard. Today is day seven of our Black History Month series. Today's story is The Year We Learn to Fly, written by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. These are the creators of the New York Times bestseller, The Day You Begin. Let's begin our story. The Year We Learn to Fly. That was the year we learned to fly. That was the spring when the rain seemed like it would never stop and the thunder boomed so hard. We weren't allowed to go outside. Use those beautiful and brilliant minds of yours, my grandmother said. Lift your arms, close your eyes, take a deep breath and believe in a thing. Somebody somewhere at some point was just as bored as you are now. So my brother and I closed our eyes and for a few minutes that first day we weren't stuck in our apartment anymore. We were flying over the city we'd known our whole lives but it was suddenly different. Exploding with every kind of flower we'd ever dreamed of growing. That was the summer we learned to fly, when my brother and I couldn't stop fussing with each other over whose turn it was to wash the windows, to feed the dog, to clean the kitchen. We fought and frowned and made silent promises to never speak to each other ever again. My grandmother said, lift your arms. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and stop being so mean about everything. Somebody somewhere at some point was just as mad as you are now. So we did. And as the soft wind took us out over the city and past the windows of kids who hadn't yet learned to fly, my brother and I reached for each other's hand flying and diving and laughing and leaving all of our mad far behind us. That was the autumn our rooms felt too big and lonely with only us in them and the darkness coming on so fast. But while we hugged ourselves against the too quiet of it all, we remembered that we didn't have to be stuck anywhere anymore. My grandmother had learned to fly from the people who came before. They were aunts and uncles and cousins who brought here were brought here on huge ships, their wrists and ankles cuffed in iron. But my grandmother said, nobody can ever cuff your beautiful and brilliant mind. So our people learned to fly, she said. They dreamed a thing and made it happen, closed their eyes and flew away home. Lift your arms, my grandmother said, close your eyes, and remember somebody somewhere at some point had to figure out they could fly. That was the winter we moved away from the building and the block and the friends we'd always known to a street where the kids looked at us funny and didn't even answer when we asked them if they wanted to play. It's okay, I said to my brother. Somebody somewhere at some point had to figure out they were ready for any new thing coming their way. So like the people who came before us, we lifted our arms even higher, closed our eyes even tighter breathed in even deeper and flew the way we'd always known how to, free as the aunties and uncles and cousins who come before us, free as our own beautiful and brilliant minds. For a long time, the kids on the ground watched us. 
Then one by one they lifted their arms. One by one they too learned to fly. The end. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that story as much as I did. <laughs> in the author's note in the back, she discusses her inspiration for writing this book. And she ends it with this beautiful words. It says, Sometimes the first step toward change is closing our eyes, taking a deep breath, and imagining a different way. <laughs> That's so true. All right, well, thank you for listening to another book readings with Miss Bernard. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button and click the bell so that you are notified every time I post a new story. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day eight of our Black History Month series. As always, have a wonderful, fun filled day. Bye bye.